Do you know the beneficiaries named on your life insurance policies? Are they family members? Are they friends? Are they close relatives? There's some things that I think you should know, so stick around. Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Krista Hermance and I am the estate planning mom. Here at Hermance Law, we focus on planning for families with minor children. Today, I want to talk with you about life insurance beneficiaries. Oftentimes, I see people that come into our office that have life insurance policies and will list their spouses as the primary beneficiaries on their life insurance policy and then um, list a family member. Uh, maybe it's a mother, a father, a sibling, a cousin, aunt, and uncle, you know, some family member or maybe a close friend um, as a backup beneficiary. Um, so there's different, you know, positive things um, in doing this as well as some negatives. And um, I will touch base kind of on the positive but focus more on the negative. So from a positive aspect, by listing them as a backup, if something happened to you and your spouse, um, instead of that money going to your kids, so if they're minors under the age of 18 um, in California, they can't receive that money, right? It would, it would go um, through the court system to get to them, um, and then at 18 they would get all of it. So if you have it avoiding that, which is great, um, avoiding the probate system, you have somebody listed there from a negative aspect that have no instructions from you on how to actually distribute the money to your children. So when you list somebody, um, and I, I, essentially what would happen is, is they would just get a check, right, from the, from the insurance company um, just to them, where they can just take that money and deposit it into their account, and their name is on the check. And there are no legal written instructions from you on how to distribute that money to their kids. So there's nothing to hold them accountable to making sure your kids actually get that money. And I know that most people think, oh, it's my family, they're gonna do the right thing. You know they're gonna take care of my kids they're gonna have all that money to provide which is probably true but there's the possibility that they might not right and that's what we're really trying to plan for is to make sure that you know whatever wishes you have you are able to put a plan in place to make sure that your kids are cared for and by putting together a plan um, here we use a trust to say exactly how you would want mon money distributed to your children um, but without having that and just having that money go to a sibling or a relative, they have nothing legally holding them to actually follow your instructions to provide that money to your children. And because that money is essentially just in their checking account, they can do with whatever they want. And I've heard it before from many different people over the years that um, something had happened and their money had gone to like an aunt or uncle and they had never seen any of it. Um, and you know the person that, that they had gotten that money from was now gone, so there was nothing that they could do. And they were young. They didn't know how to take action against them. Um, so this is one of the things that we go through with clients all the time is you know figuring out who do you have listed as beneficiaries on life insurance, on retirement, on all of those accounts to make sure that you know one, it's the actual people that you would want, and then two, how do you put a plan in place to make sure that your instructions are in writing that they're legal to hold them accountable to following the things that you want, okay? So take a look at your life insurance policy and figure out who your beneficiaries are. And if you need help putting that plan in place to make sure your kids are protected, please send us a message, go to our website, um, estateplanningmom.com, and we'll be happy to, to help you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and make sure to click that bell and hit the subscribe button to be notified when we release videos every Thursday. Have a great day.